welcome to today's video in this video i'm going to answer a question that came in grade 12 exam mathematics paper 1 gce 2019 and it was question 7 so that's the question i'm going to answer today and the question was as follows given that r is equal to 2 negative 1 1 3 and s is equal to 1 0 negative 4 negative 2 1 1 find a s transpose b r s so when you see in the question they have written um st and the small letter t is raised to the letter given so that means uh t the small t means transpose of uh, uh, the certain matrix or matrix given okay so st or s raised to the power t is in transpose of s okay so now to find the transpose you you swap rows and columns that means rows becomes columns and columns becomes rows okay so um Let's go to the matrix which is given. That is 1, 0, negative 4, negative 2, 1, 1. Okay, so let's find the order of this matrix first. As you can see, this matrix has two rows and it also has three columns. Okay, so since this matrix has this order, that means the transpose of this matrix will have uh, two columns, three rows. What we'll do is we're going to make the rows to become columns and columns become rows. Okay, so what I mean is this. Uh, what I'll do is, uh, let me just open the, the, the bracket of the matrix down. So what I'll do is, I'm going to change the, the, the law on first, uh, the first law in this matrix, it will become the first column. So I'm going to write one there. I'm going to write one here and then I'm, I'm changing the, the, the top row there. Then zero will be written down, then negative four down there. Okay? Now, the first row has become the first column. The next thing we're going to do, we're going to change the second row to become the second column. So I'm going to write two there, one down and then one down again. Let me just bring this uh, a bit closer okay now i've written the transpose of matrix s oh my mm, yes s transpose i've written now the s transpose so i've changed this matrix which is matrix s into matrix s transpose now as you can see it has three columns and two it has three rows and two columns it has this transpose has two three rows and two columns so basically in an exam if you're asked to, to to write the transpose of the given matrix this is what you do you just change the first row becomes the first column the second row becomes the second column even if there are three columns or one column or two columns what you need to do is just to change the row the first row becomes the first column they just like that you just change the rows to become columns okay so that was the answer for this question which is 7a okay now let's go to question 7b which is saying find rs but before i write that let me write this statement to say um this matrix is a transpose of s okay the s given in the question so this is the transpose okay now let's go to question two uh question b which is rs we are asked to find rs so in in short they're asking us to multiply two matrices okay let me write the matrices down first okay okay so these are the two matrices we are asked to multiply okay so what we need to understand first is we need to first identify if these matrices are multipliable 
if they are not we don't have even to waste time so matrices that can be multiplied they should have this uh, in common they should have this uh, common yeah in common whereby the number of columns in the first matrix should be equal to the number of rows in the second matrix the number of columns in the first matrix should be the same with the, should be should be the same as the numbers of rows in the second columns in the second matrix sorry the number of columns in the first matrix should be the same as of rows in the second matrix so let's to, to find out whether they have got this that quality let's find the uh, the orders of these matrices so the first matrix which is r has the order of 2 by 2 the second matrix which is uh, s has the order of 2 by 3 okay so now these two matrix this is the order of two matrix now let's find out if um, the number of columns are equal to the number of rows in the second matrix so I hope you know how to write orders we start with the laws the first number the f number in front stands for the laws and the number at the end stands for the columns so in the first matrix we are saying uh, this matrix has two laws and two columns so we have multiplied two laws by two columns the second matrix has in two laws and three columns so we have multiplied um, we have multiplied two rows by three columns. So <coughs> now, does these two matrices have equal number of columns and rows? Okay. So rows are presented by the number which is in front, and columns are presented by the numbers which is at the end. So the the number which presents <coughs> the columns in the first matrix is this two at the end. And the number which presents the laws in this second matrix is the number in front. So these two numbers are they equal? Okay. Now we have seen that these two numbers are equal. So these two matrices have got uh, that quality which can allow us to multiply these two matrices. The first matrix has two columns, the second matrix has two laws. Okay? Now <coughs> What about these numbers at the end and the one which is at the first? Then these outer numbers, 2 and 3, these, they are going to tell us the kind of matrix we are going to have as a product. After multiplying these two matrices, we are told that the answer, the, the final matrix should have two rows and three columns. That's what these two numbers are telling us the outer numbers two and three they are telling us that the columns are going the, the matrix we're going to find should have two rows and three columns okay so <clears throat> how do we multiply matrices we multiply we multiply we multiply law by column we multiply matrices by multiplying laws by column so we multiply law by column okay what i'm trying to say is when you are multiplying we start on the first row. The first row multiplied by the first column, like this. We we multiply this row by this first column here. One and negative two down. Okay, let me show you how we multiply. Let me open brackets. On this stage, I'm going to reduce the font of my letters or my numbers because I'm sure I'm going to have a big uh, matrix. So I'm going to reduce the, the, the font. So what we do is we're going to multiply 2 by 1, which is 2 by 1, which we're going to write there. We're going to say 2 by 1. Then the product will be added to the product we're going to get when we multiply negative 1 by negative 2. So, the last number in the law is multiplied by the number which is down in the column. So, we are saying negative 1 multiplied by negative 2. And then these will, products will be added in order to get the number which is going to be on the position 1, 1. Okay? Once we have done that, what we are going to do now, we are going to multiply... Uh, the first law by the second column to get the number which is going to be on um, 
1,2 okay which is we're going to multiply this number the second column by the first row so the first row we are going to multiply first row by the second column first row by second column as you can see we have just changed the column we are still in the first row because we are finding numbers that will occupy the first row okay so we are going to say 2 by 0 plus negative 1 by 1 okay and then the products we are going to get there we are going to add them now once we have done that we are going to go now to multiply um the first row by the third column in order for us to find the number that is going to occupy one comma three position in this final uh, matrix we're going to get so what we're going to do we're going to multiply two by negative four plus negative one multiplied by one okay what now we are done with the first row finding the numbers that will occupy the first row now we can uh, start now multiplying down so we're going to multiply the number in the second row by every column in the second matrix so by every number in the column of second matrix so we're going to start with first row multiplied by the first column so we're going to have 1 multiplied by 1 plus 3 multiplied by negative 2. Uh, once we're done there, so those numbers, they were going to occupy uh, the position of the, the sum we're going to get. After we find the product, then we add them. The sum we're going to get, we're going to um, occupy the position of 2, comma 1. Okay? Then we go to, uh, we are going to multiply now the second column, the second row by second column. So we are going to multiply the first row by the second column. So we are going to say 1 by 0 plus 3 by 1. Okay. Once we are done there, then we are going to multiply the second column, the second row in the first matrix, multiply by third column in the second matrix. So we are going to have... 1 by negative 4 mod plus plus 3 multiplied by 1. Okay? 3 multiplied by 1. Okay. <coughs> now, we are done here. So, I'll I'm going to close. Then, after I close now, let's see, find the products of this. We are not going to rush to add, but we are just going to find the product of these in brackets. So let me open bracket here. Then I'll say 2 by 1. Now, remember, I'm starting with the, the first row. I'm finding the product of the first row. The, 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 those numbers which are on top are the ones I'm going to start with. So 2 by 1 will give us 2. Plus uh, negative 2 by negative 2 will give us 2. Negative 1 multiplied by negative 2 will give us 2. Negative 1 multiplied by 2 will give us 2. Then we are going to add the product then let's go to the second numbers there so 2 by 2 by 0 will give us 0 then plus negative 1 plus negative 1 times 1 will give us negative 1 remember we are adding these okay then now we go to the third uh, they are the, the the third group of numbers on the first row so 2 by negative 4 will give us negative 8 plus 1 by negative 1 will give us negative 1. Okay? Now let's come down here. Uh, 1 by 1 will give us 1 plus 3 by negative 2 will give us plus negative 6. Then 1 by 0 will give us 0. 3 by 1 will give us 3. Then we come to the third group of numbers and uh, in the second column. So I think 1 by negative 4 will give us negative 4. 3 by 1 will give us 3. Okay, then I'm going to close bracket. Okay. Now let's let's now find the sum of these products. Two no, before I add, let me open the 
the final bracket the the, the final matrix now 2 by 2 plus 2 will give us 4 0 plus negative 1 will give us negative 1 negative 8 plus negative 1 will give us negative 9 then 1 plus negative 6 will give us negative 5 3 plus 0 or oh, 0 plus 3 will give us 3 then negative 4 plus 3 will give us negative 1 then that's the final answer okay so the final matrix we can get from those two matrices is 4 negative 1 negative 9 5 negative 5 3 negative 1 that is the final answer now let's check the order we said the final matrix was going to have the order of 2 by 3 now let's say <clears throat> let's look at the the order of this matrix we have got in the final matrix let's say how many laws does this matrix has it has two how many columns three so this is the final matrix of cutting and it's the correct one so basically this is how you students were supposed to answer this question in the final exam if you haven't subscribed to our youtube channel we invite you to subscribe to our youtube channel and also invite your friends to subscribe to our youtube channel if you found this video help remember to share with your friends and also not do not forget to like it so that uh, we can also be pleased that we are helping people out there thank you so much if you have a question to ask please you can write in the comment section we'll be glad to answer you or to respond to your uh, your, 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 your request or if you have found maybe there is somewhere you need to comment you can still comment on our video in the comment section we really appreciate thank you so much for watching god bless you